a cool event coming up, right? Yes, uh, we have a really fun uh, event this Saturday at Tanglewood. Mm -hmm. It is a movie showing. It's the American Association of University Women's International Women's Day program. It's open to everyone, and we want you to even bring your friends. We're watching Refusing to Be Enemies. It's the true story of how 12 women from two very different cultures mm -hmm. form like a sister-like bond while bridging the divide between their two communities. Six of the women are of Arab descent and six are of Jewish descent. And this is a documentary, so these are actually real people okay. with incredible stories, including a Holocaust survivor. Cool. Um, there's going to be refreshments. It's at 10.30 in the morning for the early birds. Love this. I'll mm -hmm. be there. I'm an early bird. At the Tanglewood Mall Community Room, upper level next to Belk. 10.30 so, is not early. Well, for Saturday, maybe. No way. Really? Well, not for well, me. I guess I'm a parent. I'm up at 4 a.m. on a Saturday. That's sleeping. Are you for really? Me. Mm -hmm. I get up at 2 every, that is every weekday, in. so 4 is uh, kind of a sleeping in thing for me. No, wait, yeah. 10 30 is so late. Okay, but also, good. I'm a well, parent. You should come to I'm a parent, then. that's come why. Out. Okay, so St. Patrick's Day is fast approaching, and Bustle just released the 10 best St. Patrick's Day cities in the United States because we can't all go to Ireland, obviously. And guess who made the list? Our very own city made the list. Roanoke came in at number eight. Bustle says, quote, awesome. on the weekend before St. Patrick's Day, downtown Roanoke hosts the McDonald's St. Patrick's Day Parade and Shamrock Festival with over 25,000 attendees. The event just gets bigger and bigger every single year. So Roanoke made the list along with Chicago, Cleveland, New York City, Dallas, Boston, and a few more. But isn't that so cool? So I was cool. so excited. I was like, all right, way to go. Roanoke, Roanoke. is fun on St. Patrick's Day. Oh, this so will be, this will be first my first one. one. And we're yeah. hosting the, the parade mm -hmm. this year. And so you're we'll going to be out talking to I'll people. I'll be out and about talking to people, too. It's, it's my favorite day in Roanoke. That's I what love so it. many people mm -hmm. say. And I'm like, okay, we'll see. It's got to be yeah. good. Um, are you a fan of The Bachelor? No. Have you ever watched it? I've never watched yes. it. You have. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not that big of a fan. I don't really watch a show, but mm -hmm. I saw this spoof of it. Okay. And I felt oh, I like I could really relate to this one. Okay. Take a look. This season on The Babysitter. My name is Brooke. I have two boys. And I'm so excited to be on this journey. It's crazy to think that one of these incredible girls is going to be babysitting my kids. Oh, nice to meet nice you. To meet you. <laughs> I would love to be your babysitter. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I can really see myself hiring one of these girls when it's all over. Pretty. Do I have experience? No. But I have lots of nieces and nephews. We are going to get along like peanut butter and jelly. There's crust on this. Pack your bags. We're going to the park. <laughs> Okay, so vlogger Brooke so from What's Up Mom stars in a hilarious new parody that gives The Bachelor a mom twist. The babysitter shows Brooke uh, her quest, which is a very difficult one, to find a babysitter. Um, it's so hard to find a babysitter, to find somebody that you trust. So I, I thought this was hilarious. This is the funniest thing. I love it. I'm, I'm surprised by how one well of the, it's produced. I mean, it looks I like know, a real thing. It really does. Okay, so one yeah. of the quotes was, like, right here, that girl, I think she okay. says, I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to make $15 an hour. <laughs> yes. <laughs> also, babysitters are expensive. Oh, um, man, that's Okay, funny. here's a question for you. Can you unplug for 24 hours? Oh, I can, <sighs> but you are I usually get in trouble at work if I do that. That's true. We have mm -hmm. to do it for our job. So tonight marks the eighth annual day of unplugging, a chance to put down the phones and log off our computers for 24 full hours. I don't know if I could do it. I would love to. I do it on vacation. Do you? Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. just like, all right, everything yeah. down. I'm just here in this yeah. moment. But it's from, I feel like it's different once you're a parent. Mm -hmm. Like if your kids aren't with you, you have to have okay. your phone on. Okay. So I think that might be, mm -hmm. that might be why. Mm -hmm. So you might be and wondering. You know, that is a good point. And I don't have kids, but I can, I get that you are worried about them. And a lot of people argue, well, you know, we didn't have cell phones when we were growing up, but yeah. we had pay phones. We had That's house true. It was a normal thing to knock on someone's door and say, may I use your telephone if there's an emergency. Now everyone just has cell phones. Yeah. And if you don't have one, it, it is kind of scary. Yeah, so it I is. Can see how for safety reasons. Yeah. But yeah, it used to be. There are definitely times for cell phones and times not to have cell phones. Yes. Yes. I would love to not have a cell phone more often. Okay. <laughs> so, so I have to talk about what we have on our desk right here. Okay. I was walking through the office yesterday and I saw a few of our coworkers and they were smelling tissues. And I was like, Do they smell good? That is the weirdest thing ever. 
And when I asked them what they were doing, I was amazed. Smell this. VIX. <gasps> yes. Ooh. See? Okay. This is Puff's mm. VIX. Now, it's like the smartest invention ever. I, yeah. It's, like, it's duh. seriously, it's, it's like so the amazing. upside down ketchup bottle. So like, there's why did Vicks, it take us so long? Oh, man, I know. There's Vicks built in, and it seriously just clears you up instantly. There's also lotion in it, so it doesn't leave you with a Rudolph nose, you know, when right. your nose gets all red from blowing it all the time. But it is so amazing. I have one on my desk that I just smell when I want to hmm. smell it. Because a nose in need deserves puffs, pluffs, indeed. Oh, no. <laughs> Plus, Vicks. Someone watches too much uh, <laughs> television. I love it.